guys, so I'm back with another unboxing. And today I have Chan Sung's solo debut that he just released in Japan called Complex. So I ordered this off of Amazon Japan, um, like I pre-order most of my Japanese albums from, um, if I want them immediately. And this is the limited version B. If you're not familiar with what 2PM solo albums format typically goes, um, this version contains three bonus tracks um, as well as a slightly thicker photo book. And because I ordered this on Amazon Japan, um, they threw in this L holder of Chansung. So that's what that looks like. Um, I will do a quick unboxing so you can see what's inside of this, um, and then I'll have a short discussion about my impressions regarding all the songs. So this is the front of the jewel case and then the back here. So here you see that there's eight tracks um, and the OB strip here. And it does have his nose <laughs> right there, which I thought was kind of funny. And then behind the CD is just this gray background. And now to the photo book. Now inside this photo book here, um, there are some codes. And there's also a photo card, which I'll share at the end. And the photos in here are really nice. Um, I'm glad they're not all, uh, I guess, um, photoshopped or <laughs> uh, processed with that artistic kind of layering effect that the album covers all had. Instead, you have just nice pictures of Chansung. And on the left here is the track list again. And now the lyrics um, to Treasure and Fireworks. And if you look at the credits, um, you'll notice that Chansung did um, work and produce um, all these songs in this album, which is always nice to see, um, especially because I really love Chansung songs um, on 2PM's albums. I think he's really um, grown as a songwriter, um, and especially Uneasy from 2PM's last uh, group album is one of my favorite songs ever. And we just get some more shots of Chen Sung. Um, there are also some solo songs um, from 2PM songs that he did write. So um, Make Love is this last one and previously um, um, there was also the Chan Sung version of Mayday. So both of these are group songs that he wrote um, and it's really nice to hear 2PM members uh, release the solo versions of the songs they wrote. Um, the fan club version actually has another bonus song. Um, that was originally a 2 p.m. song, um, and so I'm really excited to get that at some point. Um, but that was it for the photo book. And then the last thing that was inside was a photo card. So this is the one I pulled. So there's five different trading cards or a high touch um, you could get in these albums. And then the backs all look like this. And now I'll be discussing the songs. So as I mentioned earlier, um, Chan Sung wrote all these songs and he had a hand in most of their productions. And we start off with track one, Treasure, which was the title track that had a music video that um, thankfully JYP um, is continuing to show Japanese music videos um, outside of certain regions. So the song um, was released on Spotify before this album um, came out. And so I really liked the song when I first heard it. It's described as a European French disco song, which I had no idea what that was when I saw the teasers um, for this album, but I really liked it. It's a very kind of funky, upbeat, um, and I think Chan Sung really just pulls off that song well. And the music video really, I think, adds to the song as well, and it made me enjoy the song a lot more after watching the music video. 
and the music video is super cute. Um, Jin Sung is the adorable magne of 2PM, even though he never really acts like it, but this music video definitely encompassed his very cute side. And, uh, and I really love the surprise at the end too. It left me just laughing so much at the end. Um, it was really great um, and really well thought out music video, in my opinion. And then the next track, Fireworks, is another upbeat song. Uh, it has a lot more, I guess, of a funky edge to it. I'm not very good at describing songs, but um, that was kind of the vibes I was getting from it. Um, it's not as up-tempo as Treasure was. Actually, um, I noticed as you progress through the track list, uh, the songs start sort of winding down um, um, in tempo, which was kind of neat to see, actually. Um, and then it picks up again um, at a certain point, which I'll talk about. But Fireworks um, was a very nice and easy song that just had a nice funky beat to it. Um, so very enjoyable. And then for track number three, uh, which translates in English to numerous times, um, this is probably my favorite song on this, um, apart from Treasure. I really dug this song. It's a slightly, again, slower tempo than the previous two tracks, um, but there's some really interesting arrangements going on and I thought the instrumentals were pretty cool and just the change in dynamics and I'm not really good at explaining songs but it was more of a jazzy feel in a way. Um, the instrumentals um, and maybe just how he was singing it kind of left me with that impression and I just thought it was a very fitting song for him. And then continuing down the wind down I guess of the album um, you have Fading Away which it's a nice smooth song. Um, it's very kind of relaxing sounding, um, but it does have the sort of groove to it, which I really enjoyed. But uh, you can see how this is kind of making a smooth progress um, into uh, track five, which translates to in English as at night. And this is the ballad that I was kind of expecting um, from Chan Song because usually whenever he releases some sort of solo work on a 2PM group album, it's more often than not a ballad or a sexy R&B dance number. So um, given that Treasure, I figured was going to be the up-tempo dance number um, of this album, um, I knew that there was going to be some sort of ballad, which um, track five definitely was. I don't think it's my favorite ballad from him. I think I still prefer Perfume or Missing You, but nevertheless, um, track 5 is definitely a really nice ballad, and I think Chan Sung's voice especially really works for ballads, um, which is why we hear so many from him, and this is just another great example of this once sub-rapper um, turning into a uh, lead vocal. And then we get into the bonus songs, which are included in the limited version B. So for track six, we have Baby, which gets us out of the kind of slower descending tempo that was happening um, throughout the track list and it picks us right back up. And the beginning is a little deceptive in that it's, it's very slow, um, but then it switches gears and there's so much of a nice funky and kind of soulful um, twist to the song. And I really love the instrumentals. It's just a really fun song. And I think it may be my favorite after Treasure and uh, numerous times. And now we're getting into the Chan Sung solo versions of songs he's written for 2PM group releases. Um, so track 7 is his version of Mating, which was a complete surprise for me actually. The instrumentals are totally different than the group release. This is a much slower tempo and um, he utilizes a lot more piano and it kind of reminds me of some sort of uh, jam session that you would hear in some like older movie of some song. Um, again, kind of with jazzy influences and I really liked this version actually. It's, I'm always really excited whenever members release solo versions of songs they've written for the group, um, especially if they're interpreted a little differently than um, kind of how they went uh, with the group release. So May Day was a lot of fun and really refreshing. And it also kind of reminds me of just what you would hear maybe in a musical. Um, so Chan Sung's been really active in acting 
um, in plays and musicals lately. And um, I'm just getting that vibe from this version of May Day, which I thought was kind of a cool thing. And then the last track, um, track eight, is his version of Make Love, which was originally on a Korean album. And this track, oh, I love this track. This is one of my favorite, I think, 2PM solo versions um, from the guys that I've heard. And Chansung also makes this a bit of a slower version too, even though Make Love is already a very slow song. And the instrumentals are a little different, which makes um, this version also very refreshing. And uh, these are the songs I really like Chansung making. Um, these very R&B influenced and soulful songs. Um, so I'm really glad that he included this as well as Mayday um, on this album at least. And I really hope he has another solo album sometime soon so that he can release more solo versions of songs he's written. Especially some of my favorite songs like Uneasy or Hotter Than July or Good Man um, and a few others. I think that would be really a treat. And also during his concert, he did have a solo version for Uneasy and Hotter Than July. So that does give me some hope that we'll be hearing some official audio versions um, of these solo versions at some point. So maybe on his next solo album. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. And to wrap up this video, um, I just want to say how proud I am of Chan Sung for finally releasing a solo album that all of us hottest really have been anticipating. And I think that the solo release just really epitomizes how much Chan Sung has grown, not only as a vocalist who debuted as a sub rapper, um, but also just a writer and composer um, for music. I saw someone on Twitter translate. Um, some behind the scenes for the jacket shooting um, of this album and Chun Ho came and visited and requested Chan Sung to write a song for him so it'd be really interesting to hear Chan Sung start writing um, songs um, not just for 2pm um, group songs or his own solo work but um, maybe also other members or other artists I think that would be really interesting to see um, him grow in that way and now that we have this solo album from Chan Song, we just need a solo release from Nick Kuhn. Um, and now, and then everyone from 2PM will have their own solo album, uh, which I think is one of the great things about 2PM is that all the members are capable of releasing solo tracks. And Nick Kuhn has said that he's been working on a solo album. And now that he's doing some Korean variety shows and I, maybe even staying in Korea a little longer, he'll have a bit more time um, to work on that. So that'd be um, something to anticipate while all the other members are finishing up their enlistments. But anyway, um, I'm really proud of Chan Sung. I think um, this album um, is really great. It's probably going to be on repeat for quite a while, actually. <laughs> I'm also curious how soon uh, all of the songs from version B is going to be uploaded um, onto Spotify because it seems like 2PM's Japanese company, um, Sony, has finally given in and started making their Japanese music much more accessible, which I think is great for international fans. Because I think there's just so many people, um, especially in the international community, who've missed out on a lot of great music from 2PM and what they've done, uh, not only as a group, but as soloists in Japan. So hopefully that will be a nice gateway um, to invite a lot more new fans um, to appreciate all the hard work that 2PN's been doing over the years. Um, but that was it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, do let me know down in the comments um, your thoughts concerning this album, Shansung's solo debut, or any other thoughts concerning 2PN's solo work. So until next time, bye guys!